Hey, what's up, cats and kittens? And shout out to all my cerebralites. It's me, the Cerebral Diva. Uh, let me start off by saying good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Friday. The weekend is here. Um, I'm I'm hoping that you're as excited about your upcoming weekend as I am. I have a lot of stuff planned this weekend, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. But before the weekend starts, um. I want to come to you guys and talk to you about something that it was a little bit of a discussion that I had on Twitter uh, this morning regarding the TSA. Now, not too many of us are fans of the TSA. And I understand that the TSA is a huge inconvenience. And what what prompted this story, by the way, was a story on the Washington Post or a tweet from the Washington Post that I read about a woman who... Um, as a result of her panty liner uh, being exposed to some degree, it triggered a pat down from the TSA. A very um, invasive pat down, shall we say. And, you know, I definitely understand this woman's position and, and definitely understand and can empathize with her feeling feeling violated I, I i i get that but i also understand that this is 2017 and not 1817 the world is a very 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 vastly different place from the world it was 25 years ago things have changed and unfortunately that means that a lot of our privacy and security has been compromised as a result of the volatile world that we live in. Now, when I tweeted, I, my, 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 my resp response tweet to the Washington Post was essentially saying, you know, the TSA is damned if they do and damned if they don't. And that's really the truth, you know. If the TSA were not to pat this young lady, and, and we've seen cases in the past of like a shoe bomber. Um, I believe there was one guy who had exploding uh, underwear from Detroit. So we've seen some pretty radical and some pretty inventive ways of getting bombs on the airplane, of getting explosives on the airplane, shall I say. <clears throat> so we know that people who are hell-bent on destruction can be pretty inventive, pretty creative. And so, unfortunately, that means that for the rest of us who are law-abiding citizens who have absolutely no malintent, that sometimes it's an inconvenience to us. Now, on the flip side of that, there are things such as um, stop and frisk, which I think is completely ridiculous. But if I'm getting on a plane and I'm about to take a flight, which is traumatizing in itself to, to many people, just the flight itself, you know, hitting turbulence, you know, worrying about landing safely, worrying about taking off safely, worrying about not having a pilot who's had too much to drink at the bar prior to, to boarding the plane. I mean, there are a lot of variables when flying and driving for that matter that can can give you anxiety. So... The TSA has a very, very difficult job to do. And it's a job that I do not envy because the moment something gets through, the moment a plane explodes midair, then the moment we have 9-11 2.0, then suddenly the bulk of the blame is going to fall on the shoulders of the TSA. People are going to be complaining. Oh, how come they didn't catch it? Oh, why didn't they do this? Oh, they should have did this. Oh, they should have done that. Now, because we, we haven't had another 9-11, we begin to get complacent and think that the TSA's pat-downs are superfluous to some degree. And I'm inclined to agree with that to a point. I understand that it's... That is... Um, I don't want to necessarily say dehumanizing, but it's... It's very invasive for, for lack of a better term it's it's just violating it's it's it, it can be violating that's probably what that that probably better describes what i'm saying you know it can feel like a violation to have someone touching you in places that you're not okay with but 
If you're not okay with that, you always have the option of not flying. There are planes, there are trains, there are buses, there's Uber, there are carpools, you know, there are hoverboards, there are <laughs> segways. I mean, there's a multitude of different transportation options if you're not okay with being the victim of a pat down. I don't want to say victim of a, if you're not okay with the pat down, then you don't have to fly. <clears throat> Now, for the most of us, I'm okay with that compromise. If you want to pat me down, hopefully I'll get someone who's very attractive and, you know, maybe I'll get a date out the deal. But for some other people, you know, and, and I, I'm, I'm kidding to some degree when I say that, but to, for some other people, I do understand that they're not comfortable being touched. They're not comfortable with someone's hands grazing the most intimate parts of their bodies. But what is the answer? What is the resolution? Because I'd rather have TSA than not have TSA. And that's just my personal preference. And I understand that some people think that t the TSA uh, is unnecessary, that they don't do a, a really good job, that they're more concerned with shampoo and sodas and all of these different um, sort of innocuous items. But for me, I think just the presence of the TSA being there is a deterrent to a lot of, a lot of people who might have ill intentions who might want to hurt and harm us so you know I while I while I'm not necessarily in agreement with these very personal pat downs I do understand that the world that we live live in mandates such scrutiny so I don't know what do you guys think the answer is how do you think that the TSA can be uh a better service and, and, and more sensitive to, you know, the, the, the intimate nature of their job. Um, for me, I just say, look, just do it, get it over with and let me get where I'm going. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get over that part of it. Um, at the end of the day, I'd rather have a pat down than have a plane, um, go down in flames. So I take that down over the other down. <laughs> um, anyhow, you guys, as always, in closing, remember to live better, love harder, think smarter. And, you know, the next time you cross a TSA agent in the airport, you know, just remember they're there for our safety. And um, hopefully that'll make the process easier for all parties involved. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a fantastic weekend. Get out, do something fun. I'm going to do some bike riding, probably some hiking. And, of course, I'm going to do a little shopping as well. Um, and I'll try to get get to you guys sometime this weekend. However, if I don't, then I'll, I'll 